words manifest like the steam on my breath condensation on my mind Hi guys, it's Unders here and here we are in Logic and we're having a look at Neutron 3 and this is the in-depth for the EQ module. So up on the screen at the moment is Neutron in its default state with the EQ loaded. Across the top section here, this is where we load our individual plugin modules inside Neutron. So if you haven't loaded the EQ yet, you'll usually have a dotted outline here. We can choose this and this will give us the different modules we can then add into Neutron. The equalizers here by default. Everything in this dark blue square, this is our interface for our plugin. If we were to add the compressor, for example, as you can see, again, the dark blue area is all that changes. Everything else is Neutron itself. So the plugin area is this dark blue section. Now this is an incredibly powerful EQ. There's lots of different things hidden inside it. So let's have a real quick look at what some of those things are. This bar across the top hides a lot more than you would imagine. For example, this very first little square here with these uh, like three white bars and a little down arrow. If we open that up, it gives us different grids or a different layout for our EQ that can be really useful. So by default, you'll probably be on extended log and that's quite similar to what we're used to seeing on most EQs where we can see like the full bandwidth and it's maybe a bit zoomed in around the one 2K region and then it bulks like the 10 to 20K up here and it bulks sort of the 200 to 20 in this area, giving our mids uh, the most detail to work in. However, let's say we want that to be linear. This way, we've got a lot more detail working in the high end, uh, and we've got much less ability to affect the low end. We can also adjust that in various other ways. That is essentially the purpose of this. Logarithmic, a nice balance. Uh, extended log just stretches it out a bit. And we've got flat logarithmic as well. Uh, also really useful is the piano roll section. So if you have got a section that's playing in a particular octave, you can just activate this and see the octave range of frequency that you're going to be in. So like C7, uh, we're going to see like a fundamentals around this area here. Really useful to do that. Next along here, we've got masking and masking allows us to have two EQs working together. So I've put this on the vocal bus here. Everybody trap, trap, trap in that road. They ain't stat no dole, they ain't never made no P. Talk crud like they're bad, they ain't real. They now in the mix, this might be conflicting with certain other elements. We do have a chord stab, which I think is around a similar area. They ain't stat no dole, they ain't never made no P. Talk crud like they're bad, they ain't real. They ain't really out in the street. It's really quite low in the mix, sitting in the background, so let's bring it up a level. At road in the booth, but can't walk the walk. See me? I don't sniff or snort, but the gang shit you talk will get it outlined in chalk. Loud with the hype and the rhymes that you write. At road, they ain't stat no dole, they ain't never made no P. Talk crud like they're bad, they ain't real. They ain't really out in the street. Just chat grease every. We have got a synth that kind of sits a little bit behind the vocal. Um, so we could highlight that, give it its max level. That road, they ain't stat no dole, they ain't never made no P. Talk crud like they're bad, they ain't real. It's not really conflicting with it in any way. But what we can do is put another version of Neutron 3 on here. And this will automatically get named with the channel name in Logic. So it's a synth comp up here. And we can actually close that one away and we can actually work on it from here. So where it says masking, we can now choose the synth compression bus. And we've got masking taking effect now. So what we can see now really out in the street. is just check our audio, the, the vocal channel we're, we're working on, and anything like that's pepper. conflicting with it. Doing it better. Claim their gang don't bang like Beretta. Claim they got a bad when we get masking, we get like an orange bar go through to let us know that that frequency area is masking with this particular sound. That road, they ain't stat no dole, they ain't never made no P. Talk crud like they're bad, they ain't real. They ain't really out in the street. Just chat grease every time that they open their mouth and they speak on the beat. Heat up like it. So by doing this, we can select to EQ this sound so it no longer affects our vocal. So at the bottom here, we can choose which sound we're working on. So if I click on the synth, I'm now going to be EQing the synth. And notice how it changes the color of the EQ. So at a glance, you kind of know what you're doing. That road, they ain't stat no dole, they ain't never made no P. Talk crud like they're bad, they ain't real. They ain't really out in the street. 
Just check grease every time that they open their mouth and they speak on the beat. Heat up like it's pepper. Ain't nobody doing it better. Claim their gang don't bang like Beretta. Claim they got a bad beat, but I never met her. Seems like they lie every time that they talk. Lies. At road in the booth, but can't walk the walk. See me? I don't sniff or snort, but the gang shit you talk will get it outlined in chalk. Loud with the hype and the rhymes that you're writing. Don't hit hard me, I strike like lightning. Man, I get frightened. That's for certain. So now we can still hear a lot of the sound of the synth coming through, sat in the background, but the masking's no longer taking effect. That's just something that we can really easily do. And it's just sitting in the top here. Now we've got a masking sensitivity adjustment here as well. And that will show us how much of the masking is really happening. If we put it up to the maximum, we'll see that things are always masking. That road, they ain't stat no dough, they ain't never made no pee. Talk crud like they're bad, they ain't real. They ain't really out in the street. Just However, realistically, the way we hear it, they're not competing that badly. So having this to around 50% is going to be your safest space. That road, they ain't stat no dough, they ain't never made no pee. Talk crud like they're bad, they ain't real. They ain't really out in the street. Just Next along here, we have something called Learn. Now, Learn's fantastic for finding syllabances and plosives and other issues inside a vocal. What we can do is hit learn and it's gonna look for certain frequency areas based on how many EQ points we have. So we have four at the moment, let's let it do its thing. That road, they ain't stat no dough, they ain't never made no P. Talk crud like they're bad, they ain't real. They ain't really out in the street. Just chat grease every time that they open their mouth and they speak. Okay, so two, Seems to be the fundamental that it's found here. They ain't stat no dough, they ain't never made no pee. Talk crud like they're bad, they ain't real. They ain't really out in the street. Just chat grease every time that they open their mouth and they speak on the beat. Heat up like it's pepper, ain't nobody doing it better. Claim their gang don't bang like Beretta. Claim they got a bad beat, but I never met her. Seems like they lie every time that they talk. Lies. That road in the booth for comp. So let's just adjust that up a little bit and listen. That road, they ain't stat no dough, they ain't never made no pee. Talk crud like they're bad, they ain't real. They ain't really out in the street. That's the fundamental. So a small boost there could really help the vocal come through in something that's a little bit deeper. That road, they ain't stat no dough, they ain't never made no P. Talk crud. Now let's see what three and four have done. Hopefully it's found some kind of unpleasant sound for us to remove. That road, they ain't stat no dough, they ain't never made no P. Talk crud like they're bad, they ain't real. They Great, so it's found a really like resonancy spot. That road, they ain't stat no dough, they ain't never made no P. Talk crud like they're bad, they ain't real. They ain't really out in the street. So we could just dip that back a little bit. That road, they ain't stat no dough, they ain't never made no P. Talk crud like they're bad, they ain't real. They ain't really out in the street. And the high shelf's actually just a really nice point to get a high shelf lifted up from. So let's just A and B those changes we made very quickly. That road, they ain't stat no dough, they ain't never made no P. Talk crud like they're bad, they ain't real. They ain't really out in the street. To me, that is an improvement almost straight away. Let's listen to that again. That road, they ain't stat no dough, they ain't never made no P. Talk crud like they're bad, they ain't real. They ain't really out in the street. Just chat grease every time that they open their mouth and they speak on the beat. Heat up like it's pepper, ain't nobody doing... Yeah, that's actually helped us do a much better EQ job very quickly by using the learn function. I'm just going to turn the synth back off. We don't need that anymore. And just next to learn, we've got a little loop and that resets the entire module back to basics. We've been working on this, so we're not going to undo that. Now, if we just rewind very, very quickly to looking at masking, we're going to look at the functions right at the bottom here, because I did have a look at how we can switch between the two EQs, um, but I didn't talk about inverse link, and inverse link is really useful. So when we've got the two sounds playing together, we can activate inverse link, and any adjustment we make on one EQ will have an inverse and opposite effect on the other. This means if we make a one decibel decrease on one of the EQs, the other one will increase by one dB in the same spot. This allows us to have a sort of a, a two decibel difference between the two by making two very small adjustments very quickly. So I'm just going to make a fresh EQ point. Uh, so they've both got a five here. So you see, I added the one and it's there on both. And now if I reduce on here, we'll see that it goes up on the other one. And that is inverse link. And that can be really useful for masking. So we can make two small adjustments very quickly in a specific area. Now Neutron's EQ is a lot more in depth than we've seen so far, and yet it's already a very powerful tool. Each individual module or node 
is also a dynamic EQ module and there's some other features that go with it. So we're going to mainly be looking at the third one here, which is this yellow one. And when we select any of the nodes, we get all of this detail up here. We can see it's got a proportional Q set, but we've got a drop down and we can change all of our types here from uh, different types of bell or band shelf or low shelf. There's many different types that are useful in here. Uh, we get some important information as well. Frequency, uh, the gain amount currently of that module, the gain amount currently of that node, uh, and the Q value, as well as what musical note it's on. So this is around F6, which is really useful. Now, we've looked at all that information. We've also got this arrow just here. And if we click that, our menu doubles in size with other features. So now we can also switch on dynamic. Dynamic, as you can see, has just snapped the band back up to zero because now that EQ band is only going to work when audio is coming into it and it's going to function like a compressor, which is a dynamic EQ module. That road, they ain't stack no dough, they ain't never made no P. Talk crud like they're bad, they ain't real. They ain't really out in the street. So now in that resonant area, it's only going to reduce when we've got extra gain. So when that resonant will become a problem, it reduces a bit more and it just helps balance it out a lot smoother. We can adjust the threshold uh, and that will depend on how much it compresses. If we bring the threshold right down to 80. That road, they ain't stack no dough, they ain't never made no pee. Talk compresses like a lot, they real. we can make it far really more street. gentle. Just check grease every time that they open their mouth and they speak on the beat. Heat up like it's pepper, ain't nobody doing it. Generally, I found when using a dynamic EQ in this way, you'll need to add a bit of extra gain reduction. So where it was minus three, I would probably have to bring it now to something like minus five to have it function and really reduce those resonances, but it will be a lot smoother than it was before. The other module we've got is sidechain. So we can actually use a sidechain to control that instead. And this is really useful for, again, masking and conflicting sounds. We could have it so that that synth that was an issue before only actually reduces anything in the vocal or vice versa when the two are masking rather than have it occur all the time. And that's the real power of the dynamic EQ. So that guys is a deep dive into the EQ module on Neutron 3. I hope it was helpful for you and I look forward to seeing you on the next video.